Hello everyone, today I'm in Croatia with my new downhill bike and oh my god, this thing is insane. This is the high bike, downhill 10.0, in tube, electric downhill bike, which is insane. The thing looks amazing due to the fact that it has got some very nice parts on there and some lovely designing there from the guys at High Bike. And why, you ask, would you want an electric downhill bike? Well, of course, that means that anywhere you're riding is now a bike park because you have your personal uplift to take you to the top and you can blast back down. Um, so there's literally nothing to complain about. Like, this is awesome. Up front on this beast, we're running the Fox Factory 40 uh, suspension forks which are absorbing all the insane bumps that you'll be finding on this bike. We've got the Fox Factory X2 rear shock which is obviously working great. It's Fox, it's going to be good. Uh, up front for braking to make your eyeballs fall out we've got the Magura MT7s which I also use on my trials bike and they are really really brilliant brakes. The bike comes with some wheels and some tyres uh, that are probably good but they're not my sponsored tyres and wheels so we won't go into that. The frame itself has the in-tube battery so it's hidden away in here. Uh, that's connected to the Bosch motor which produces 75 newton meters of torque if you're interested in that. Basically that means it's going to take you up any hill that you decide to try and go up. Uh, what I find funny about the bike is that we have a dropper on a downhill bike which, you know, some of you might find weird, but of course, with this personal uplift, you're gonna need some comfort and some ease. So that is gonna help you get up the hills a bit easier. And the head angle is 63 degrees, giving it nice slackness. So when you're blasting down the hill, uh, it's super stable and is uh, working nice. It's not gonna be twitching around and you can go as fast as you wish down the track. The bike comes with the Thompson bar and stem, looks good and works well of course. And we got the Saint gearing on there uh, from Shimano. So you, you, your gear selections are gonna work properly. And of course, the We Are E Performance mudguard that you can order from any high bike dealer. So put your order in. The reason I'm here in Croatia is to do a video and photo shoot with high bike on the downhill bike, which is my new beast. And we got to ride yesterday the UCI downhill track, which is gonna be here in Lasinge, Lasagna or Lasingi, whatever you wanna call it. And that track is insane. Like I filmed some of it. The footage is coming in right now. It is so rocky. The jumps are massive is slippy and I actually cannot wait to see the professional guys riding down there because I felt like an am like a, a beginner riding down it because it is so difficult so here's how it looked from my eyes
that was the first time riding the bike on such an insane track it was like pretty nerve-wracking at the start but this thing actually handles so well it's obviously heavier than a normal bike but it didn't make any difference and for me as like a guy it's not really like pro at downhilling or anything i thought it was kind of better because you could just smash through all the rocks the weight sort of pulled you across and uh through the track that you're riding and it feels super safe to jump on which is good it just handles way better than you'd think for something that was uh, that heavy i believe it's uh 24 kilograms or something like that um, and you don't even notice it of course with the added uh, power that the bike gives you when you're pulling away and stuff um, you don't even notice the weight um, yeah I thought it was amazing so for my first time ever I was thrown in at the deep end there on the World Cup track and I still can't believe how gnarly the stuff is the guys race on it's insane so good luck to you guys um, I'm gonna be cheering for you from behind the computer screen. I wanna get away from that track because it's just so nuts. What do you guys think about this beast? Would you ride it? Here's the poll somewhere on the screen around here. Yes or no, would you ride this beast? It looks amazing, Matt, like just being on it feels great. So let me know what you think about it, yes or no. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are now gonna go and do a sunset shoot, so I have to leave. Uh, it'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky! Yeah.